Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Well, excuse me, a wonderful morning. Of course, I am out. Um, uh, for you guys that don't know, my name is Gloria Ward and I'm the founder of this amazing project, the I'm Loving Me Project, where we inspire you to love and value yourself. And um, I've been out for the last uh, week or so, ever since January started trying to take care of a lot of things that I need to take care of so that I can grow and enhance, you know, my businesses. And most people want to do things early in the morning, which I love because I have a lot of things to do once eight or nine o'clock hits here. But I always want to make sure that I do the inspiration in 30 and I'm not going to be long. Uh, because I have maybe like 15, 20 minutes uh, before the person shows up. But let me tell you this. Here's what I want to do. I want to encourage you today because at the start of this new year, I know that you have a lot of goals. I know there are a couple of things that you said you was going to give up. I know there's a lot of things that you have let go. And I know there's a lot of things that you're thinking about, things that are turning in your head, the things that you don't want to repeat that happened last year, all of the things that you're trying to maneuver in your life and get yourself back to you. No one understand that things do take time. No one understand that it is a process. And also know and understand that you are learning as you're going. Most of the things that you have experienced, most of the things that you were going through, you had to go through to get you to this point. Stop beating yourself up because you're not where you want to be. Those people that you are looking at on social media, those people who you think are ahead of you, those people that you think are doing better than you have issues and challenges as well. Remember that people only post the good part to them. They don't post the stuff that they go through, right? No one understand that everything that you want and everything that you want to accomplish, you will and you can accomplish as long as you stay consistent and as long as you fight for your healing and your happiness and that means you're gonna have to say no to some people and that means you're gonna have to let go of some people and that means you're gonna have to let go of some things and some thoughts right i was talking to a woman yesterday who um wants me to do a two-hour workshop with her in march with some of her women she said you know the biggest thing gloria that you know, I have is the fact that I am trying to progress in my life and try to do different things now that my kids are grown. And I need to find out what that is. I need to find out what it is that I like and what it is that I love. And what I had to tell her is a lot of women are in the same position. We are all still trying to figure this thing called life out. We are still trying to figure out what it is that we want and what we like and what we love. And we should not be beating ourselves up because we are not where we want to be. Hey, Kim, we cannot be beating ourselves up because we are having challenges and it's taking some time to get there. Be okay with where you are. Just don't stay there. Be okay with where you are. The challenges that came um, in the first part of December that is still happening, you know, with me now, I know how to handle them now. I'm not getting stressed out. I'm not getting upset. I'm not doing all those things. I'm just out taking care of business for whatever it is that means, right? Doing the best I can with what I got. Why? Because this too shall pass is only a small piece in the bigger picture. And you also got to remember those things and challenges that come to you are for your own good. It's to help you grow. It's to take you to the next level. Stop getting frustrated when things happen. Do what you can 
allow yourself to handle the things that you can control. The things you can't control, you let them go. Okay? Understand and know that this is your season. Whatever season that you're in, this is your season to reflect. This is your season to grow. This is your season to heal. This is your season to prosper. Whatever your season is, you have to know what that is for yourself. Right? You got to be able to know how to handle where you are. And the way that you do that is constant reflection. Constantly thinking about where you are. And loving yourself where you are. And being grateful for where you are. Don't listen to those people who is trying to tell you, you should be here, you should have done this, you should have done that. Because most of the time, those people ain't moving in the same direction as you and, and it's not doing anything with their life. But if you're working on something, if you're changing those little things in your life, if you're trying to figure out you more, if you're trying to figure out how to love yourself just a little bit better, if you're trying to figure out how you're going to navigate the rest of your life, then I want to encourage you to let you know you are doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You don't have to figure it all out all at once. You can work on your self-esteem. You could be honest with yourself and know that there's some cracks in your armor. And that you do have to work on your jealousy. You do have to work on your anger. You do have to work on your ego. And be okay with that. Those things that served you before, if they don't serve you now, let them go. Those people who are in your life that no longer serves you, let's just kiss and say goodbye. Right? Remember, it is your time and it is your life. However you spend it and whatever you do this year will depend on you because you control what happens to you. Stop getting upset when people say stuff about you or you heard something about yourself at the job or different places. Leave that shit alone. That has nothing to do with you. Those people don't have nothing else to do but talk. Remember, their whole life is probably their job. Right? But that's all they got. But you, on the other hand, you are on a different mission. Stay focused. Because the challenges that you're going to face within yourself is the things that you need to focus on and work on. You understand? It is your time, and it is about you this time. Don't feel guilty about that. I want you to take that trip, save your money, go where you said you wanted to go. Do what you said that you was going to do that you didn't do last year. Take on those challenges that you were afraid to take on because you thought you was going to fail. You thought it wasn't for you. Have the confidence and the faith in yourself this time to cross over that mark and say, you know what? I'm, I got to heal. I got to heal. I got to grow. I can't take this no more. Why? Because you're worth it. You are worth it. And you matter. And if you're waking up every day, you still got something to do. If you got all the activity of your limbs and you are walking, you still got something to do. Don't go around here just wasting your life thinking that life is against you because it's not 
It's not against you. It's waiting on you. It's waiting on you to figure out just how powerful you are. And if you have to keep going back to the school of life, it will continue to teach you. It will continue to teach you. But I'm here to drop a message for you. Just to let you know. That you are loved. That it is your time. That it is up to you to make a decision to change. That once you change, everything around you will change. Now, once you decide that this is it and no more, no more, no more, am I going to accept mediocrity in my life? You see your life change. You see your life blossom. Because you're letting this shit go. And you're going to focus on yourself. Okay? That's my message for you today. Uh, the person I'm waiting on is actually coming around now. But yeah, we all got challenges. We all got things that we do. But we know how to handle them. The stuff I'm going through right now, y'all. I, I feel so grateful and thankful because I know I'm growing and I'm and and things work out the way they supposed to and always remember this what's for you is for you don't go around trying to take everybody else's blessing if it wasn't given to you you wait on yours okay you wait on yours you do your work don't go around being jealous about what somebody else got and you think you should have it. It's not for you. What's for you is for you and it will come in your, in, in your own time when you get on the same page with the blessing. When you start focusing on what other people are doing and start focusing on what you're doing, your blessings will come. When you allow yourself to give up those people that don't need to be in your life and you start to set your boundaries, your blessings will come. That's exactly how it works. So I love you. I hope these words of encouragement helped you. Don't worry about the stuff that's happening right now. Just keep being focused on what you're doing and where you going, okay? I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.